Thanks for joining me today. So today's makeup look is really exciting because it's not only a makeup look that I'm wearing right now, but it's also a first impressions of Fenty Beauty, which as we know is Rihanna's new makeup line. Well, it's not that new anymore. It actually launched last year, but this is the first time I have ever, ever held, played with, touched, used any of the Fenty Beauty. I heard it was the number one, number one beauty brand in America already, and I know that everyone in the UK that's tried it already really, really likes it. So as you can see, I've just created a really fresh, like natural complexion, um, and I have a bold red lip. So it's something really easy, basically you but better with a little bit of glam, sex appeal with the big red lips. So let's get started. Now, just looking at the products that I've got in front of me, I can tell that this product line, or at least the initial wave of products that she's brought out, are very complexion focused. Um, there's primers, there's uh, contouring sticks, highlighting sticks, highlights, lots of base products. She has a really, really impressive foundation range. And then other than that, there's a big focus on the lips as well. I'm gonna start with the primer, which is this one. Um, the packaging's really nude and matte, which, I mean, if you've seen the Kardashian uh, Kim KKW makeup range that launched recently, you'll see that it was very, very similar to this, especially these sorts of products, the matte nude packaging. So yeah, I'm just going to put that primer all over my face and smooth it in. Side note here, I never really wear matte primers, but this one actually feels really silky on the skin. It went in really well. Um, it has kind of filled the pores a tiny bit. Um, yeah, it feels really good. Next up is the Pro Filter Foundation. I am going to be using shade 190. I also have here the Fenty Beauty Foundation Brush. This is brush 110. So I'm going to try it with this. So first impressions are that it's like a medium to full coverage. It's got a glow about it for sure. Um, the pigment level is really good. It blends really easily, even with the brush, it doesn't leave like streaks behind, which is super, super good. But I figured this would actually work well with a beauty blender or a makeup sponge as well. But now that I've finished buffing that in, I think it's not a dewy foundation. It's definitely more of a soft matte foundation, but it has a glow. So it's not a full matte, which is nice because I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't actually wear a full matte foundation. I think also when it's settled into my skin a little bit more. Um, some of the glow will come back. I'm going to add a little bit of shape back into my face now and to do that I'm going to use one of the matchsticks. You can buy them as a trio and they come like this, like magnetised together and in the set you get um, a pearlescent highlight, a another like full coverage either foundation stick or a matte highlighter, I'm not really sure what this middle one is, and then you get the um, contouring darker shade as well and that's the one I'm going to use now. Shade Mocha. I'm going to take the makeup sponge wet now and then blend in that contour. So that wasn't too difficult to blend in. Um, it did take some working into the skin, but it's a matte product and there's absolutely no slip and slide there, so it took a bit longer than normal. Okay, so next up for highlight, I've got two versions of highlight from the Fenty Beauty range. One is the Kilowatt um, Freestyle Highlighter Duo. Um, this colour is Mean Honey. And then on the other side, the slightly more iridescent shade is Hustler Baby. More matchstick highlights. We've got two shades here. Um, the top one is called Starstruck and the bottom one is called Trippin. And that's more of a peach colour. I think I'm actually going to use that top powder highlight there, um, the Hustler Baby one. And I'm going to just apply it with the foundation brush that I've already got. really pretty. I really like this. It's a really, really nice colour. It's quite champagne-y, um, but it's got a bit of like rosy warmth to it. Um, the pigment isn't too large, so it means you get a more sheer, um, soft highlight rather than a glittery one, which I actually can't stand. Because I don't have any eye products in the selection of products that I'm working with, I am just going to take a little bit of this Mean Honey shade, which is the matte highlight as part of the freestyle highlighter duo and I'm just going to put that all over the lid. 
And then I'm going to take a tiny little bit of that um, Hustler Baby shade and just put it into the corners of my eyes. Some mascara because I don't have any here and I think my lashes look completely non-existent without it. So I'm just going to pop some on. Oh my god, so much better. Okay, so next up and final bit of the makeup look is lips, and I have a lot of options in front of me. Rihanna did release um, something called Stunner Lip Paint. I think she used this on her Instagram channel, and she looked so bomb in this shade, which is called Uncensored. It's like a really bright, bold red. It's gorgeous. Then we have some of the pluck plush matte lipsticks and I've got two brown shades here this super vampy dark shade is called PMS and then we've got a slightly lighter with a little bit more of a red warm undertone shade and this one's called shorty and then I have this one which is like a kind of peachy nude color that's called single the most nude one that I have here and this one is called up to no good I love the names they're great then I also have what Rihanna is calling Gloss Bombs and this one is shade Fenty Glow and I reckon that is going to be incredible on the lips. I'm tempted to go for the liquid lip but I probably, mm, yeah fuck it, I'm going to go for the liquid lip. Ooh, I just hate doing a liquid lip on camera because there's like no room for mistake. Okay, alright so the applicator is actually um, a shape that I've never ever ever seen before. It's almost like an hourglass. Give it a go. Oh my god. Look at this colour. Oh, oh my god. It's amazing. So beautiful. Oh, amazing. So, so beautiful. So there you have it, guys. A pretty simple makeup look. Just fresh glowing complexion, a little bit of contour, lots of glow from the highlights, and then a really big, bold Rihanna lip, which is what we love her for. Clean, glossy skin, and really big, beautiful, bright lips. First impressions all round, I really, really like what she's got going on here. I think the products are really solid, and I think they're well thought out. I think they are long wear in general. I think this makeup you can put on and you can probably go out and it would last you all night if you're going out or like a full day. It feels really good quality on the skin. Obviously the packaging is stunning um, and I think the names are really fun and playful. For me this beauty line is not about fakery. It's basically about putting your best self forward. I think all of the products are really solid. They're good quality. They're working to enhance the features you already have. I'm like looking at what I've created on my face now and it, I mean it looks like me. I just look like a more polished glowing version of myself. Thumbs up from me. I think she's done an amazing job and I'm really excited to see what she brings out next. Thanks for joining me. You can give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I would love that. Leave me any comments you have down below and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And finally, you can follow me on Instagram. My handle is on the screen now. So yeah, I'll see you guys back here on my channel really, really soon. Bye for now. Let's keep this alive.